what we are studying now is electric field made by dipole in a position which we will call equatorial or transversal position. This is a dipole, this is length L, L, the total length is 2L between the two charges which are equal but opposite charges. Now this line bisector perpendicular, this is known as equatorial line or transversal line. We use both the words for this. There may be any point anywhere. Let us say there is one point here on the equatorial line and the distance of this line is r. Now from which point should we measure r? From here or from here? Answer is neither of the two. We should take center this. All the distances will be measured from the center and the distance of point p is again from center. This is r. So, point P is at a distance from dipole, means it is from a distance from the center of the dipole, okay, this. Now, this is minus Q charge, this is plus Q charge. This minus Q charge is a point charge which will create electric field here. This will also create an electric field here. Dipole as such, whole quantity does not make an electric field. Electric field is always made by the point charges, wherever they are. These are the point charges and both separately will make electric field here. Now the electric field due to plus Q, plus Q always repel. So electric field due to this will be in this direction. This is electric field due to plus Q, E due to plus Q. Now minus will make an electric field which is directed towards negative side. So electric field for this will be towards this. You can also test with a test charge. If you place a test charge here, it will attract it. Okay. So this will make an electric field in this direction. So this is electric field for minus Q. Now we have to find out magnitude of both the electric fields. So magnitude of these electric fields, this electric field E due to plus Q, E due to plus Q is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. This is a point charge, so formula for point charge will be applicable 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon R square. What is that R square? That is square of the distance and from this point this point is not at the distance r but at this distance. How much is this distance? So this is r, this is l. So this is square root of r square plus l square by Pythagoras. You know this. This is also same r square plus l square square root of it. This. Now this will be square of the distance. If you make square of this this will be r square plus l square. Direction, this is the direction because what is the rule of direction that is given by the Coulomb's law? The direction will be on the line joining the two charges. If we place a test charge here, this will apply force in this line. So this is the direction of electric field due to this. Now. This is the quantity, this is the direction and this is the vector which is representing this electric field. Now this minus Q has a negative electric field in this direction and this electric field again we can calculate here E due to minus Q is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught and this will be Q upon R square plus L square because we are calculating magnitude only, we are not bothered whether it is negative or positive. Because it is negative, we have taken it this direction. Because this is positive, we have taken this direction. So we have taken care of positive charge and negative charge by giving them directions. Now you see, check it, this quantity and this quantity are exactly same. That means their magnitude are same, therefore I have kept equal length for the two. And this E, we know this is the quantity for this E. Now E plus Q, E minus Q. Magnitude of both, we will write only E. 
because they are same. So length of this is E, length of this is E. So I have to find out resultant here. To find out resultant here, we can apply uh, vector addition methods. Vector addition methods, there are more than one method. So I will apply any simple one like this. This line joining the two, I make a line parallel to this at this point. This one. Suppose this angle is theta. Now these two lengths are equal because it is an equatorial line. These two angles has to be equal. So if this angle is theta, this is also theta. These two lines are parallel. So alternate angle, this is theta. These two lines are parallel. So here the corresponding angle, this is theta, this is also theta. So these two angles are also equal theta. So this is how theta is distributed at various points by geometry. You know it very well. Okay. Now this E, I divide into two components. One component along the direction of P. This is direction of P. One along direction of P and one perpendicular to P. When I divide it this way, C. One which is along, which is along this will be here this. And other component will be in this direction. That is this. This angle is theta. So this component is E cos theta. And this component is E sin theta. This E is now divided into these two components. Resolved. This E is again resolved into two components. This is theta. So adjacent to theta, this is one component and this component is E cos theta and component perpendicular to this, this. This is E sin theta, this one. So now we can say these two we need not calculate and we should make the addition of these because they are now in one line. Okay. So net electric field. From here E sin theta, E sin theta in opposite direction cancel each other. E sin theta, E cos theta in same direction. add up this. So what is the total of these two E? Answer this two E has a total is equal to total of this four because they are components. Total of this two has become zero. Now what remains total of this two and they will add up this will be two E cos theta. This is the E resultant. So E resultant is 2 E cos theta. Now what was E? This. What was E? Either this or this. Both represent the same values. So this we put here as 2 into E. E is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon R square plus L square. This into cos theta. We take the value of cos theta from any one angle. This cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse. This is base L upon hypotenuse. R square plus L square to the power half. So this is cos theta. This is E and 2e cos theta is converted into this step. So this is equal to, now I mark these things 2ql. What is represented by 2ql? By this time you know all that 2ql is p. That is dipole moment of the dipole. 
so this 2q l we can convert into p so this constant of medium we let it remain like this 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught this 2q l is converted into p upon r square plus l square this has got power 1 this has got power half so this will be when they are multiplied power will be 3 by 2 so this is the expression we get for the resultant electric field this if we simplify if we simplify this then L square is very small compared to R square. L square is very small compared to R square. Therefore, neglect. Therefore, neglect L square. And what do we get here is E resultant is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught P upon R to the power 2 to the power 3 by 2. This is R cube. This is our resultant electric field at that point on equatorial line. So, E on equatorial line is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught P upon R cube. What is its direction? This is the direction. Then how will we name this direction? The answer is compare with P. Minus 2 plus this is the direction of P. This is the direction of P and its direction is opposite to that. So we will write that this electric field is in a direction opposite to direction opposite to P. This. So this is E equatorial at this point. Now if you ask me what will be the electric field at this point? Will it be in this direction or will it be in this direction? Okay, let's do it. This plus will make an electric field in this direction. This minus will attract it electric field in this direction. If this is E due to this, this is E due to this. Where will be the resultant answer? Here will be the resultant. This is E equatorial and this direction is opposite to P. Here also is it opposite to P. So that proves that at any point on the equatorial line, the direction of electric field will be opposite to P. So remember it, whether we are up, whether we are down, at every point E on equatorial line will be in a direction opposite to the direction of P and compare it with E on XL line. This is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught, we have done it, 2P upon R cube. What is the difference in the two? 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught, R cube, R cube. This is 1P and this is 2P. 1p and 2p. That means E on the XL line is double of strength while the R is equal. So if we go from this point in this direction 10 centimeter, we get an electric field. 10 centimeter, we get an electric field. This electric field at 10 centimeter will have intensity double than electric field at this 10 centimeter. So electric field on the XL line is always double in strength than electric field on equatorial line for the same distance. Remember it. This is one thing and I will write it down this result that electric field on XL line E at XL line is equatorial same distance. So this you should remember. There is another comparison with point charge. When we see electric field due to point charge, this has Q upon R square formula, while electric field due to dipole, it has P upon R cube formula. 
Yes. Both are decreasing with R. Suppose we take R double. We make the distance double. Both will decrease. But in case of point charge, it will decrease 2 to the power 2, 4 times. In case of dipole, it will decrease 2 into 2 into 2, 8 times. So in case of dipole, it decreases fast. So we will say in case of dipole, electric field deplete faster. In dipole E depletes faster. This is sometimes asked, prove that E depletes faster in case of dipole. So that is shown by this R square, this is R cube. So this will decrease it very fast. So after certain distance we find there is no electric field. So electric field for dipole has got a very short range because it depletes faster. For point charge the range may be quite high. So this is electric field. We have done it in transversal position. We have done it in axial position and in the next lecture we will do it for any general position.